a follow up to the the release of the iPhone 15 but not as a in a more a more of a business and philosoph philosophical uh, way in terms of vision and not in terms of how people tend to to talk about this thing in in a very emotional way for me it's like oh i hate apple or i love apple or oh, it's always the same phone and and you know all the memes and i believe that people don't get the point and the reality is uh in terms of sales the new iphone is already a hit like every year and uh the tech pundits and the critics don't understand and um I believe that a lot of people have it wrong uh, for the simple reason that they see it in an emotional way and they don't understand how when a product is mature, how things are supposed to change. Listen, we went from one subject to a completely different subject. This is Club Shadow. And like I told you uh, last week, the smartphone business is a mature business now i would say 15 to 20 years ago it was really a brand new um it was really a brand new uh, a brand new branch i would say that became actually one of the best selling thing because everybody had a, a telephone and then there was the first revolution that everybody had a mobile phone. So that's back in the days of the Nokia's and stuff. And when Apple arrived with that business model of um, a glass with a, just a screen where you can tap and multi-touch, this was a revolution. And I remember because I was there. And what is very, very, very interesting is that now that everybody has already uh, bought a, a smartphone, like everybody that is of age, I think starting at 15, 14, everybody has a screen that they can use to, a device that they can use to watch, to go on Instagram, TikTok, or call their parents. And once you arrive to that level, when every, everybody has one, it's not the same business as how it was before. And that's what people don't understand is that if I'm Apple and I sold a billion iPhones and I have a billion clients, my goal is not to sell a billion phone to those billion clients all the time, every year. My goal every year is to sell I don't know how many let's let me see how many let me let me see how many iphone sales per year all right uh, all right so every year they sell 225 million iphone so let me say so that's 225 time let's say 800 800 dollars as a medium that's a lot of money that's a lot of billions of dollars made every year so if your goal is to sell 200 million phones to your 1 billion customers your goal is not to sell them to the people who bought an iphone 14 is to sell them to the people who have an iphone 10 or an iPhone 9 or an iPhone 8 this year. Because most people, they keep their phone. These, these machines are of a great technology and they work well for years. So you don't need to change. I took, I, I kept my iPhone 10 until the iPhone 13, I guess. So that was like, yeah, three, four years. Then I moved to the 13 and I'm, I might buy a, a 15, but I don't have to. Because it's not going to change my life. Now, I can give my, my, my 13 back to Apple, pay them off of the price and get a new one. Because I, I do, I take photos and posting is part of my work. So I understand that me having the latest and greatest might be something that 
I want to do and because I can. But in reality, if I don't do it this year, I will not really care. It's not going to change my life. And I was saying the same thing to my wife. You know that if you go from the 13 Pro to the 15, it's not going to change a lot. And she was just like, yeah, I want the fifth, I want the, the pink one. And listen, there's a different. There's people who can. So it's, it's more like a cosmetic change, right? It's just like, hey, uh, but most people, listen, I was talking to a friend of mine uh, who use, who still use an iPhone 10. He just changed the battery after two, three years and it's working just like, just like new. And if you believe that Apple doesn't know this, you don't understand how it works. You don't understand how the business changes when you become, um, the business changes when the market becomes mature. Once you sold all these amounts and you have all these clients, it's almost kind of impossible to create the number of phones that you need to sell to everybody anyway. But it is, it is great to know that you're gonna have in your user base, 200 million people willing to buy the new one. And they don't need to be the one who bought it last year. They can be the ones who bought it two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, five, six years ago. You, of course, and the people, the tech, tech YouTubers, they are a little delusional in my opinion, because they hear, yeah, nothing changes, always the same thing, that they look the same. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. When you buy a TV, it is a rectangle with a glass and some LEDs in the back that show you Netflix. That's what a TV does. And once you buy one, like the one I just bought, you're not supposed to buy another one in five, six, seven, ten years. And still, every year, Samsung makes a new version with some improvements and nobody complains. And it's interesting how when the iPhone comes out, everybody's complaining. But when the rest of the phones come out also the same every year with incremental changes, nobody complains. Because people have this emotional relationship with Apple that I don't understand. For me, they're just doing their business and they're making their money. And I believe that uh, innovation is not, once you understand how innovation works, you don't, you don't see it the way the commenters see. Once you understand how innovation works, innovation can only be possible when all the parts that make innovation possible are ready. And, and especially when you sell 200 million phones every year, this innovation has to go with the, the possibility of whatever innovation that you create. Let's say the sensor, for example, that is in here in the back that is created by Sony, I believe. I don't know if it's still Sony doing them, but back in the days, Apple buys it from Sony. If you know you're going to make 200 million phone, Sony has to be able to create 200 million of those. The lenses and the sensor in, inside. It has to be able to outsource for you 200 million of those at whatever capacity, whatever specificity, megapixel, etc. And when you are Apple, you have to wait for whoever whoever you buy these parts to be able to build them at a scale that is there. And sometimes they are not able yet, or sometimes there's a, not enough, not possibility to make enough OLED screen at that number, at that scale, at that size. Uh, even if you pay, they, they, there's, there's not enough factories or materials or et cetera. So you have to wait one year, two years to arrive there. That's the, the pace of innovation. And I believe that people have been so spoiled by the first years where things were changing fast that now that everything that has to be done is done, people are like angry as if they had the money to buy it every year. I do. I can buy every year and I don't because I don't see the point. It is now like a car. If you buy a Mercedes in 2020, in 2021, there's going to be a new model of the one you have with refinements. 
It's the same for every industry. And I don't understand why everybody gets it wrong and have this emotional reaction whenever there's a new iPhone, everybody goes crazy and it shows how much Apple is in, important is not the word, it's just how their brand is powerful that everybody's there making videos. And I was watching all these videos on YouTube and I was like, they don't get it. Like, they don't understand how it works. And I believe, like I said last, last week, innovation when it comes to smartphones are, it is done. Like, maybe there's going to be new materials, new, new things, or maybe, listen, unless one day somebody can create a battery that can last, let's say, five days without charging, that's an amazing innovation and and they can build 200 million of them that's when things will go forward until then bro enjoy your phone it works you're good or buy something cheap that makes the same thing if all you do is go to instagram because it's another thing people always want something fast but they're not gonna even use like 20% of the capacity of whatever they bought. Like, I'm a professional of entertainment, sound, video, and images. So I need the best of every time. I need the great cameras, but listen, look, this camera that I have, I think it's probably, ah, when did it, when, when was it released? The Sony 6400, I believe, uh, let me see, Sony, Alpha 6400 was released. Uh, when was it released? Um, release date. In 2019, so four years ago. And, uh, before that, it was a 6300, 60, 6200, 6100. And now I believe we are at the 6700, right? And a lot of other cameras that are available from Sony. Uh, actually, I, 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 I would love to get a, a, a A7C Mark II. But in reality, for what I do, live streaming on YouTube, even if I get the new one with all the bells and whistle for this setup, it's not gonna change nothing. For you guys, it's gonna be the same image. And for me, it's gonna be the same image too. It's just that I'm gonna have the new one. And that's why I'm, I'm still using this one because it looks amazing. And at a point you have to ask yourself, like, do you buy things because you need them or do you buy things because fashion etc so if you in the if you are in the the, the the space of possibilities that you can buy anything uh at um yeah, yeah you can buy anything because you have enough money yeah you do you uh buy as you wish just because you want a new one so you you part of the lucky ones the spoiled ones now, if you buy something because you need it, look this microphone. This is one of the best microphones. I've been recording. I think I recorded hundreds of songs. I recorded Sumia's album in my house in Paris with this microphone. I recorded uh, Elijo's album, Taina. Uh, my last five albums or six albums, uh, Tia, everything I recorded, everything I recorded in my house, I was using this microphone from Neumann. It cost me a thousand and five, if I remember well. And this microphone, I bought it in 2000 and I don't know, 2006 maybe or 2000 and it may be before it's always been it's part of my life i never i never 
I, I recorded today another song with it and it works perfectly. Uh, it is always connected. It's always ready to be used. And this was created by the Neumann German company probably 50 years ago, 40 years ago. I'm not sure. And once you have it, you actually don't need to change. They have bigger models, maybe better from and the, the brand made more or you have USB ones. But listen, I've I've invested a long time ago. I did a show and I used the money from my show to buy this. And that's one of the, my best investments. And I had the time to change house one, two, three, four times. And I always have this microphone with me. And when I go to a, a studio, I, so I was, when I was recording my last album, I was going to this studio and they have like a collections of, a collection of uh, probably 100 different microphones. And they were, they were telling me, hey, what microphone do you need? What do you want? And I was like, hey, do you have the TLM 103 from Newman? No, we have this and we have a, from Newman, we have this model that is even better. I was like, no, 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 no. I want this because I'm used to singing it. I'm used to my voice in it and I know how I'm going to sound and I know how I'm going to mix. I don't even need to. I already have a preset that works for me when I'm recording and my voice sounds great in it. And that's it. And if I ever buy another one, it's maybe this one stops working one day. That would be the only reason why I would buy another one. And nowadays there's there's microphone like this one that are full usb that i could use uh, there's so many microphones in the market and even like headphones for example i'm used to working uh, professionally with these ones from sennheiser and whenever they break i buy the same one i buy another one i always have two of them one to travel and one at home and i never change because i don't need to and i only replace them when they are broken and telephones smartphones is the same thing now and it's okay you don't have to cry because there's nothing new in the iphone like for you there's nothing new but for somebody who has who bought one five years ago everything is new and uh for somebody who's a, who really needs the to push the envelope yeah but in reality yeah, it's it's not for you 